Welcome to Mr. Michael's ELA classroom. What are we going to learn today? Assalamu alaikum students. Today you're going to review how to plan your persuasive essay. Then I'm going to give you a simple script that you can follow to make your plan into a complete essay. So, as an example, you're going to write an essay about smoking. Make sure to form an opinion, give at least three reasons and evidences. So the first thing you're going to do is organize your ideas in your graphic organizer. First thing, we know the topic is smoking. Now we have to think about our audience. Who are we going to write this essay for? So I'm going to say it is for people who smoke because I'm going to try to convince them that my opinion is valid. So my opinion is very simple. Smokers should not be allowed to smoke around other people. It's better if you have a more specific opinion about something. I can't say smoking should be banned, something along these lines. I have to be able to give reasons and evidences for that. Although you could probably give both for smoking being banned. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to write down your reasons and your evidences. So I'm not going to read these off because this is a very simple essay, but what I want you to do is make sure when you write your reasons, your evidences are in proof of those reasons. So most of your evidence will be anecdotal, which means you're not going to go research it on a computer, but it's going to be something from your own life. So these two would be more research based, but this one here is anecdotal. It means I take something from my own life to try to give proof for my reasons. So for example, smoking near others damages their clothes and creates a foul odor on them. So when my uncle smokes near me, I feel I must change my clothes immediately. Now this is a part that might get a little confusing to you, but in your introduction, you're going to want to preview your reasons. So you're going to take a little part of the reasons and use that in your introduction. It should be three or four words, nothing big, just a couple of phrases that you can get from your reasons. Obviously, you don't want to make it too long. So this is a little script you can use. So topic is a topic that is on everyone's mind and I am no different. I feel that opinion because preview reason one, two, and three. So if you are audience name, take my words below to heart. Remembering that all of these parts are within the rubric that the teacher is going to use to mark your essay. So you have to touch upon all of these parts. And the beauty is they're all in your graphic organizer. So I have my audience there. I have my topic, I have my opinion, and I have my preview reasons from this bottom part of the document. So now I just have to put it in my script. So that becomes that. This is an almost perfect introduction. If you were to write this, you're going to get a very good mark. So again, you can read that by yourself. You don't have to I'm not going to read it in the video. Okay. So we have now looking at our body paragraphs. So we're going to have three body paragraphs and they're going to be organized in a very simple way. We're going to have our reason one and evidence one in one paragraph. Reason two, evidence two in another paragraph. Reason three, evidence three in the final paragraph. So again, I've already written these out. I've planned them. Like the famous saying says, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So now that I have this plan ready to go, it's going to be very easy. So my firstly, reason one as evidence, evidence one. That turns into this. This is what's called a transition word. It indicates that I'm going from one paragraph or one idea to another idea. 
And then here is a persuasive phrase. So these are things that must be included in your essay. But you can see right now, it becomes a very easy to write this essay. It's extremely formulaic. It's almost like procedural writing. And our three body paragraphs, all I got to do, firstly, as evidence, secondly, in support of this, finally, in fact. Now, the beauty is the ending is very similar to your introduction. It's almost like a restatement of it, which is what it actually is. Your introduction, like kind of previews what you're about to write, and then your ending is just a summary of what you've written. So as you can see, put your opinion because of summary reasons one, two, and three. So if you are audience, please listen to what I have said and change your life. So luckily, my audience is right there. My opinion is right there. I just plug them in and voila. Now, where am I going to get these summary reasons? Summary reasons are the preview reasons. It's exactly the same thing. So there's no more thinking here. If you've done it right above, you're going to do it right below. So why is it now called a summary rather than a preview? So you're not going to be able to write that in the comments, but maybe I'm going to ask you that on the quiz. But again, remember what a summary is and what a preview is. So now we have our little script, which turns into a lovely concluding paragraph. So what I need you guys to do, review this, keep it in mind. We're not sure what the topics will be, but you could brainstorm some possible topics for a persuasive essay, and I'm sure you'll probably figure it out. So thank you for watching. Great job, guys.